Hello, everyone. I'm Yu Feng Zhang. Now I present our work. The title is Multiplex Symbol Execution Exploring Multipaths by Solving Once. This is a co work with Zhen Bangchen, Zi Qi Shuai, Tian Qi Zhang, Ken Li Li, and Ji Wang. Symbolic execution explores the pathways systematically and evokes constraint solver to check the satisfiability of path constraints. In practice, Symbolic execution is facing two challenges, the passive explosion and the constraint solving overhead. Basically, we can say that there exist double searching procedures in Symbolic execution. The Symbolic execution engine uses some strategy to search the path space. On each path, the constraint solver searches the solution space to find the solution or return answer. This means that we have double explosions in symbol execution. Our work is based on this insight. The path space and the solution space are both from the input space. When solving the path constraint, the constraint solver is essentially exploring the path space. So the path space is searched repeatedly on each path. Based on this insight, we can unify these two search procedures. Our method is named Multiplex Symbol Execution. We call it MILS in short. The constraint solver tries multiple intermediate assignments before finding the final solution. We call these intermediate assignments as partial solutions. For example, suppose that the symbol execution reaches a branch B in the figure. The path condition contains three constraints, C1, C2, and C3. The solver searches the solution space. The first assignment can satisfy C1 and no C2. We call this assignment as partial solution. In basic symbol execution, this assignment is abandoned by the solver. However, this partial solution can steer the execution to cover other parts of the program. Similarly, the second partial solution can also cover another path. Finally, the solver finds a solution and a return set. In our method, we use partial solutions as useful test inputs. We can generate multiple test inputs and cover multiple paths by solving only once. The contributions of this work are threefold. Firstly, we propose MILS to utilize the partial solutions for exploring multiple paths by solving once. Secondly, we have instantiated the idea of partial solution to three constraint solving methods and implemented MILS on two GSE engines. Finally, we have conducted extensive experiments on real-world programs. The results show that MILS achieves one or two orders of magnitude speedup for reaching the same code coverage. Now we use a motivating example to show how our method works. The program contains three branch statements and four paths. Suppose that we use symbol execution to explore the path space. The first input is x equals 1, y equals 3. And the first path is path 1. We collect the path condition here. Suppose we use GFS strategy, so we negate the last constraint and get a new path condition. Then we invoke the constraint solver and get the solution x equals 1, y equals 1. So the next pass is pass 2. In this way, all the paths will be explored. Finally, we need to invoke the constraint solver for three times. In our method, the constraint solver is used as a white box. Suppose that we use simplex as a constraint solving algorithm. Simplex uses payload operation to change the assignment during solving. The algorithm may try multiple assignments before finding the final solution. In this example, Simplex first try assignment x equals 0, y equals 0. It finds that not all of the constraints are satisfied, so it uses pivot operation and changes the assignment to x equals 2, y equals 0. Again, this is not the final solution, so it pivots again and finds the final solution. In this example, we record all the partial solutions during the solving procedure. We can get three test inputs in the first time of solver call. These inputs can cover three paths. 
So our method mills needs just one time of solving. Our method employs the underlying constraint solver to search the path space directly. The vanilla symbol execution executes one input and generates the next input one by one. Our method can generate multiple test inputs from one solver call. The key point is that the constraint solver should support partial solutions. Now, the question is how to support partial solutions. In fact, partial solutions are ubiquitous. A wide range of constraint solving algorithms confirm a trial and error mode. Here we take some examples. The first one is simplex for quantify free, linear real or integer arithmetic. The second one is counterexample guided abstraction refinement method for array theory. The third one is mathematical optimization based solving for floating point. Simplex is an efficient constraint solving method for linear arithmetic. Some state-of-art SMP solvers such as this three uses simplex. In the beginning, simplex transforms the input linear constraints into the general form, then chooses the assignment of variables. If all the constraints are satisfied, the algorithm returns set. Otherwise, simplex adjusts the assignments using the so-called pivot operation. Here, we can use these intermediate assignments as partial solutions just before the pivot operation. Arrays widely exist in programs. Reasoning about the arrays is expensive. The state-of-art solving method is counterexample-guided abstraction refinement framework. This method is implemented by some servers such as SQP, Bolect. The input is a formula f in array theory. The algorithm neglects array axioms and generates an abstract version fa. Then invokes the set solver to find the model for fa or disprove fa. If fa is unsatisfiable, then fa is unsatisfiable too. The algorithm returns unset. Otherwise, the set solver returns a model of fa. Now we validate the model on f. If m implies f2, then we find the solution. Otherwise, the algorithm checks which axioms are validated and refines fa by adding axioms. The refined formula is solved again. Here, just before the refinement, we can extract the model m as partial solutions. Floating point is a challenge. Mathematical optimization-based solving has been proposed for floating-point arithmetic, such as XSET and Coral. Optimization-based constraint solving introduces techniques from search-based tasking. The constraints are transformed into an objective function for optimization algorithms. The global minimum of the objective function corresponds to the solution to the original problem. We can use any mathematical optimization method, such as the random search, the particle swarm optimization, the Monte Carlo Markov chain, and the basin hopping. The objective function evaluates how close the test input satisfies the constraints. During the optimization procedure, we can extract the local minimum or the intermediate points as partial solutions. In this example, we get the final solution in five steps, and also two partial solutions corresponding to path 4 and 3, respectively. In fact, partial solutions are ubiquitous. Many constraint solving algorithms support partial solutions. For example, the CDCL framework for SET is a popular algorithm. The bit vector theory solving relies on SET. The CDCL is a decide backtrack loop. In each loop iteration, the decide phase chooses an assignment to a selected variable. Then, the backtracking phase erases some assignments to resolve conflicts. We can extract the partial assignments as partial solutions. The GPR key framework extends CDCL with the decision procedures of background series. It is also a decide backtrack loop. We can extract partial solutions in a similar way. The congruence closure algorithm constructs congruence closed equivalent classes for terms. 
in equality logic and uninterpreted functions. We can construct partial solutions according to the equivalent classes at any point during the construction procedure. We support partial solutions on three constraint solving tools. We modify the simplex algorithm in this way for QFIA solving. We modify the counterexample guided abstraction refinement algorithm in SQP for QFABV solving, and also implement an optimization based floating point solver. We use simulated annealing as the optimization algorithm. We implement the MUSE on two symbol execution engines, the symbol pathfinder with this three and the self-implemented IP solver and CLI with SQP. We carry out experiments to answer the following questions. Effectiveness. How effective is MUSE to test the program automatically? We use code coverage to measure the effectiveness. Efficiency. How efficient is MUSE to accomplish a testing task? We use time budget to achieve the same coverage to measure the efficiency. We conduct three experiments to evaluate MUSE. The first one is for simplex-based QFLA solving on SPF with this ray. The second one is for abstraction refinement-based array theory solving on CLI with SQP. The last one is for optimization-based floating point solving on SPF with this ray. We use different benchmarks for different experiments. These are the results of experiment 1. We use 11 programs as a benchmark. We use basic symbol execution with different search strategies as a baseline. In the table, we collect the number of test inputs and new instructions carved after the first pass. We can see that our method can achieve more coverage under the same time threshold. In the figure on the right, we show the trends of the carved new instructions and the different configurations for all the programs. Our method can achieve an order of magnitude of SPDA. For example, the GFS needs 600 of seconds to achieve its largest number of new instructions. The GFS with MUSE only needs 14 seconds. The BFS needs about 900 of seconds to achieve the best coverage. MUSE only needs 70 seconds. The second experiment is for re-series solving. Our method improves more than 20% coverage in average on BFS. As for efficiency, our method also has two orders of magnitude speed up to achieve the same coverage. The last experiment is for optimization based floating point solving. MUSE carves small instructions and generates small inputs. As for efficiency, our method achieves 99 times of speed up on GFS and 4.6 times of speed up on BFS. Finally, we show the average number of partial solutions per server call. The number of partial solutions can be very different in different constraint solving methods. Our method usually generates more partial solutions under GFS than that in BFS. The reason is that the pass condition under GFS contains more constraints, so the server needs more trials before finding the final solution. MUSE is the first step towards unifying the double search procedures. We are the first to use constraint server as a white box in symbol execution. We know that Multiple partial solutions may trigger the same path. We can use a lightweight concrete execution to filter redundant inputs. We expect that the mainstream constraint servers provide a general interface to access partial solutions in the future. The most related work is constraint optimization techniques, such as solving result cache, the counterexample cache, and the constraint reduction. The green framework provides a unified facility so that constraint solution can be reused across multiple programs and analysis. Speculative symbol execution executes branch statements speculatively. The constraint solver is invoked until a specified number of constraints is collected. 
Another research track on boosting symbolic execution focuses on path explosion problem. This research track can be divided into two classes. The first class develops efficient path exploration strategies to achieve specific goals with limited resources. Another class of research work reduces the path space so that uninteresting paths are abandoned. In summary, the power of constraint solver is wasted in symbol execution for a long time. We propose mills to tackle the double explosions in symbol execution. We use partial solutions as test inputs. We can release the power of constraint solver. We implement mills on three constraint solving algorithms and SPF and CLI. Experimental results show that mills achieves one or two orders of magnitude speedups on the three constraint solving methods to reach the same code coverage. Thank you. Any questions?